It's time for the Sport Corner CM Hockey League News. Wow, what a save by Dream. Corey Day shoots, he scores! Ooh, what a hit by Brad Wilson. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by the Big Chili Magazine, where in this issue there's an interesting article titled Gridiron Girl, Selene Jane Caldwell which is about a Thai Australian girl that is making a name for herself in the American Women's Football League called Legends League Championship. In our first game out, we had Hertz versus the Novotel Spitfires. Hertz were coming into this game needing a play strong after a 5-3 loss to Aware the last time out. For them to pull off a victory in this one, they really need to come together as a team, and they needed their netminder, Dream Uncle Petsnook, to have a solid game. Hertz were missing La Cham Nan Ratanakal and Ralph Dittmer, who were out traveling, and Alistair Fawcett and Danny Boucher, who were out with injuries. The Novotel Spitfires are on a two-game winning streak, beating Hertz the last time they played them 9-3 and shutting out True 2-0. Their substitute goalie, Gabor Toth, has been really strong between the pipes, and their White Walker line of Corey Day, Michael White, and Brendan Vick have been on fire. Heading into this one, though, the Spitfires were missing some key players with Corey Day and Matt Johnson not able to make the game, and Ken Kinborn was out with an upper body injury. Hertz came out of the gate ready for this game, and Captain Justin St. Denise scored the first goal of the night less than four minutes in, with the assist coming from Andy Bryan and Steven Sproul. Hertz notched a total of four goals in the first period, with St. Denis getting a pair of goals and an assist. Champ Sempadililuk and Yin Tan Krokriad also putting up goals. Super sub Patrick Forstner netted one for the Spitfires with less than three minutes left in the first period, with the assist coming from White and Ernesto Bauer. The second period saw Hertz score five more goals, with Darius Conatopes putting up a hat trick, St. Denis getting his third goal of the night, and sub Bass Willilux also finding the back of the net. The third period saw the Spitfires trying to mount something when Jason Bitter scored a goal, with the assist coming from Scott Murray. But Hertz, captain St. Denis, finished things up, scoring his fourth goal of the night with 7.30 left in the game, with the assist coming from Andy Bryan and Mu Tang Sakol. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to St. Denis for scoring four goals and notching an assist, and I had a chance to chat with him after the game. I'm here with the Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game, Justin. Wow, what a great game. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. The, uh, the whole team was playing really well. The Thai guys, the Nakaraj call-ups we had, they had great chemistry together, we're moving the puck around well. Dream had a good game, and we were lucky enough to put a bunch of them in. And you got five points tonight? Yeah, well, I, don't, I think I only have three points on the whole season so far, so I've had <laughs> some catching up to do. And what do you, what do you uh, attribute to this turnaround? I don't know, just playing smarter, really. Uh, we were just keeping it simple in our own end, getting it out, keeping our feet moving. And then that four check. I mean, we don't have that many superstars on our team, so it's all about just keeping it simple and skating and working. Excellent. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tom. In our second game of the night, we had True going head-to-head -head with the Aware. True has been starting to come together as a team, and it should really help them with league president John Chiknowski back in the lineup. Unfortunately, True were missing their goaltender, Lance Parker, due to an upper body injury, and he'll be out for the rest of 2018, but they had Jason Kotzmeyer covering him. True will also be missing Alex Phelps, who also has an upper body injury. The Big Red Juggernaut are on top of the league, being undefeated in the first seven games of the season. One of the good things about Aware is that they have one of the most well-rounded teams in the league. Captain Patrick Lumbach did an amazing job drafting his team this year. As long as their goalkeeper, Patrick Leduc, stays strong between the pipes and the rest of the team doesn't get lazy, they should be able to walk away with this one. Roman Laren of Aware opened things up just over three minutes into the first period with an unassisted goal. Harrison Ostemelt of Aware scored the second goal of the period, this one also an unassisted goal. True tried to mount a cup second period when Jordan Ashton snuck one past Leduc with the assist coming from Adrian Myers and Ith Van Tannebuchel. The third period saw Aware do what they do best and just pepper Kotzmeyer with shots, and they found the back of the net two more times with goals from Winnie Luckentinicorn and Johanny Eos to end the game 4-1 to one, with Aware crushing true in shots 39-17. to 17. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to Jason Kotzmeyer for stopping an amazing 35 of 39 shots, 
and had a chance to catch up with him after the game. I'm here with the Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game, Jason. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I think, uh, I think they must have made a mistake on that one. <laughs> So how does it feel coming back after so long? It's nice. It's nice. Um, it, I haven't played in a while, so it feels good to be back out there. Uh, we've only been playing pickup lately, so it feels good to be in a competitive game, and uh, the action's nice. I like it. I enjoy it. Glad to be back. You didn't do too bad against Aware. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've heard they're a strong team. I know they're fast. So you just got to be ready all the time. I mean, you can't, you can't really take any breaks because uh, they, they're a fast team, so they just come right on top of you all the time. Excellent. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tom. Have a good one. Our next night of games are on Sunday, the 16th of December. In our first game, we have the Novotel Spitfires facing off against True. The Spitfires need to get back to their game. With the White Walkers line intact, most teams will struggle to keep the puck out of the net. And with their defensive core, Brad Wilson, Carly Hill, Matt Johnson, and Tommy the Finnish Fridge Hockenin stopping the appeals and teams at the blue line. Lastly... They'll need their substitute netminder, Gabor Toth, to play like he's played most of the season and become the wall in the net that we all know he can be. For True, they need to keep working hard and continue to play a full game and not quit after the opposing team scores a few quick goals. They have a pretty solid team, and they just need to find the back of the net. Once this starts to happen, they're just going to open up the floodgates and they'll catch the Spitfires by surprise. In our second game, we have Ware vs. Hertz. Aware of the hottest team in the league this year, winning their first eight games of the season. If Aware can keep from getting lazy, they should have no problem extending their win streak to nine. Hertz are coming off a huge 10-2 win over the Novotel Spitfires. If they can keep this energy up and put a few quick ones in the net, they should be able to put Aware back on their heels and maybe pull off a win. That's all for this week, and I'll see you at the rink. The opposite was very strong. I, I was good. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by Big Chili Magazine, the best read expat lifestyle and news magazine in Thailand. It covers interesting issues in Bangkok and the region while bringing its readers engaging stories and various exclusive interviews, food reviews, and more. You can find the Big Chili Magazine in bookstores and online at thebigchili.com.